Sui has just announced the launch of the first handheld Web3 gaming device, a new Layer 1 has exploded from a Binance launch, and CPI data has come in hot. This is your Altcoin Buzz News. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when I drop latest content. Follow us on Twitter, AltcoinBuzz.io, and as always, this is not financial advice, and wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. And so if this market pulls back hard under this level, and then consolidates and comes back, we're likely to sell and stall. Chainlink, currently trading under $18, has the potential to break out. However, there are some resistances in the path of the rise, which may limit the altcoin's growth. Chainlink, after falling for the past two weeks, is attempting to initiate a recovery again. Although it's been struggling for the past few days, by the looks of it, it's about to change. Link holders have shown a sudden rise in interest in the asset, which is evident from the increased participation across the network. Active addresses shot up by nearly 104% on the daily time frame, hitting a two-month high. This shows that investors are expecting an increase in price down the line. This is furthered by the fact that nearly 38.5 million Link tokens are inching closer to the point where they become profitable. This $684 million worth of supply was bought between 1749 and 1873. Chainlink's price currently trading at 1738 is testing the local support of 1785 and bouncing above that would push the altcoin's price to the 1873 resistance. However, losing the 1785 support level could trigger a decline to the 1695 support floor. This support level has undergone multiple tests in the past and breaching it would invalidate the bullish thesis. Consequently, Chainlink's price could fall to $16. Our partners at Sui have just unveiled the first handheld gaming device with native Web3 capabilities, and it looks amazing. The world of handheld gaming is set to experience a significant shift with the announcement of the Sui Play OX1, a collaborative effort between gaming startup Playtron and blockchain technology company Mistin Labs. This innovative device, powered by Playtron's flexible operating system and featuring native integration with the Sui blockchain, aims to bridge the gap between traditional gaming and the emerging world of Web3. The Sui Play OX1 is poised to challenge the dominance of existing handheld gaming devices, such as the Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch, by offering a unique blend of features and capabilities. Running on the Linux-based Playtron OS, the device will provide users with access to a wide range of gaming content, including PC games from popular storefronts like Steam and the Epic Games Store, as well as blockchain games built on Sui and other networks. One of the key differentiators of the Sui Play OX1 is its deep integration with the Sui blockchain. Developed by Mistin Labs, Sui is designed to offer fast, low-cost transactions and a user-friendly experience for developers and users alike. By linking users' Sui assets directly to their Playtron account, the device will enable seamless access to Web3 games and features, such as ZK Login for simplified logins and the ability to make payments using stablecoins like USDC. Playtron and Mistin Labs are taking a bold approach to incentivizing adoption of the Sui Play OX1 by offering token rewards to early buyers. For game developers, the Sui Play OX1 represents a unique opportunity to explore new monetization models and create innovative gameplay experiences. Additionally, the Playtron OS's compatibility with various hardware configurations and storefronts could help developers reach a wider audience without constraints imposed by closed ecosystems. Sui says that the Sui Play OX1 will enable gamers to play both Web3 and Web2 games across PC and mobile. The device will be available in stores worldwide in 2025. Gaming-focused Layer 1 blockchain Saga protocol has made a name for itself in the recent months with an airdrop campaign. This led to a record-breaking $13.4 billion staked on Binance to earn Saga reward tokens. The Saga mainnet launched trading yesterday, with its token surging over 15,000% since early Tuesday. The Saga token listed on Binance surged to over $6, marking a rise from its opening price of $0.40. Cents. The mainnet launch of the protocol allows developers to deploy blockchains without any cost to end users. Saga's protocol enables the creation of chainlets, which are VM agnostic, paralyzed, and interoperable dedicated chains. These chainlets offer applications of infinite horizontal scalability. It operates as a fully decentralized proof-of-stake chain, emphasizing precision in validator arrangement and automated deployment. Saga has experienced substantial growth from 0 to 350 projects building on its protocol, with 80% dedicated to gaming. Partnerships with industry giants such as Polygon, Avalanche, and Samsung have further propelled its expansion. Saga seems ready to solidify its position in the blockchain space with a recent $15 million funding round and a dedicated division for game publishing. Sentiment recently shared on X, have you caught wind of the Saga hype yet? 
The token has recently been listed on Binance, Bitmart, and other platforms. Traders are making both bullish and bearish cases as they appear torn at the moment. The bullish case, the pump effect, is always a possibility in play when being listed on Binance. Additionally, Saga Network's integration with the Cosmos wallet Kepler indicates growing adoption and usability with the crypto community. The bearish case, there are reported fake tokens circulating on BNB chain, which have experienced a drop in value after whales are dumping large amounts of Saga for BNB. Additionally, the presence of fake tokens sharing the same name as a legitimate Saga token raises red flags about the project's credibility and trustworthiness. Our partners at Credit World have just announced a new airdrop campaign. For those who don't know, Credit World is a platform that provides premium gaming entertainment, but much more it empowers developers to create games, limiting the complexities of the process. For beginners, Credit World provides a range of games. This includes new versions of popular franchises and unique metaverse worlds where players can explore and socialize. The highlight of Credit is its intuitive game creation engine. With just a few clicks, users can design their own games, and in addition, users can leverage smart contracts to license their creations monetize in-game items as NFTs, and deploy games on the credit platform for others to enjoy. Credit is currently working on creating an infinitely expandable multiverse. It sets itself apart from standard metaverses by introducing a massive multiverse that allows other metaverses to integrate and expand. Credit World's new quiz airdrop campaign starts tomorrow, April 11th at 12 p.m. UTC. In order to earn Credit, join their Telegram and answer the quiz questions. Check out Credit World's Telegram for more details linked down below. Michael Sonashin, CEO of Grayscale, sees outflows from the company's GBTC reaching an equilibrium. Sonashin said that some of the selling connected to the settlements of bankrupt crypto companies like FTX is largely behind us. When the United States SEC approved the spot Bitcoin ETFs in January, Grayscale's product, GBTC, which had already existed for several years as a trust, experienced significant outflows as existing investors likely sold their shares to buy into one of the new funds. Another reason for the outflows was GBTC's higher fees compared to its competitors. In the three months since, GBTC has seen total outflows worth $15 billion, according to BitMEX research. In March, these were hitting $600 million a day, but have fallen significantly since. On Monday and Tuesday this week, they stood at $303 million and $155 million, respectively. Following the market-wide decline, the leading cryptocurrencies Bitcoin and ETH slightly dipped after a short-term bullish momentum on April 9th. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI data, accelerated at a faster-than-expected pace in March, pushing inflation higher and likely keeping the Federal Reserve on hold with interest rates. The CPI, a broad measure of goods and services costs across the economy, rose 0.4% for the month, putting the 12-month inflation rate at 3.5% or 0.3 percentage points higher than February. Bitcoin dropped below $68,000 as soon as this news came out, alongside a wider sell-off in the entire crypto market.